welcome back to Queen G's Recipes. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make peanut butter cupcakes with an amazing peanut butter frosting. Very easy to make, but very delicious, perfect for any occasion. And you're gonna love them because they are so good, super moist, and they're just perfect. So um, the ingredients we'll be needing here are first of all some flour, baking soda, baking powder, salt, and some cinnamon. You're also going to be needing three quarter cups of half and half cream. If you don't have half and half cream on hand, you may substitute for milk. So here we also have some brown sugar, regular white sugar, an egg, softened butter at room temperature, some peanut butter. I'm using crunchy. I do like the uh, little bits of peanuts in my cupcakes, but you can most definitely use creamy if you prefer that. And here I also have some vanilla extract. I also have a couple of muffin tins lined with some muffin liners because this will probably give you about 18 cupcakes or so, depending on how big you make them. You also want to make sure that you have your oven preheating to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And let's make our cupcakes. Okay, so into our bowl here. I'm going to be using my standing mixer because I always use it in my videos, but most definitely, if you don't have one or you prefer to use just a regular bowl, for sure, go ahead and use what you have. So into our bowl here, we are going to add in our softened butter. Okay. We're also going to add in our peanut butter. Right, and we will add in both of our sugars. And we're going to mix this until we have a nice mixture, a nice creamy mixture. Now we'll add in our egg and vanilla and we will mix again until everything is nicely incorporated. And now we will add in our half and half cream with our mixer on, just slowly adding it while the mixer is still on until you have completely used up your half and half cream. Your mixture will look like it's splitting and curdling, but don't worry, that is totally normal. Now we will add in our dry ingredients, but we're going to sift them in. Now I'll place my whisk attachment back on and we will mix until we have everything nicely combined together. Okay, so our batter is ready and now we are ready to fill our muffin liners. You wanna fill them about two thirds to three quarters full because you don't want them to, um, oh, you don't want to overfill them and then they will come out onto your muffin pan and it will be a little bit of a mess. But if you want them bigger, you can make them bigger. That's totally fine. Just make sure you lightly grease your muffin pan on the top. Now we're ready to bake our cupcakes for about 20 minutes or so or when a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean. Okay, so my cupcakes baked 
for exactly 26 minutes. Now, typically cupcakes usually bake around 22, 23 minutes, but I did make them a little bit bigger, so they took an extra few minutes. So just be careful with that. The toothpick method is always no fail, so always do that just to make sure. And now we're going to leave them in the pan for about, I don't know, about seven minutes or so, and then we will uh, place them somewhere to completely cool off, and then we will frost them. You don't want to frost them when they're still warm because your frosting will melt off. Okay, so our cupcakes have been cooling for about an hour and a half right now. They are completely cooled and ready to be frosted. So what I have in a bowl here is some peanut butter, icing sugar, we're also going to add in some vanilla. Now keep in mind that the full recipe will be in the description box as always. And now we are going to incorporate this together. It is a good idea that your peanut butter is at room temperature because it will be easier to uh, mix into your icing sugar. So just work with it and then if you need to switch to a whisk, you can go ahead and do so if it's easier for you. And then we'll start adding in our half and half cream, one tablespoon at a time. Okay, so I've incorporated all the ingredients now. I'm going to whip up my frosting here with my handheld electric mixer. It is a better idea to start off with your mixer because it's a little difficult to stir it because the frosting is pretty thick before we start whipping it. So start off with your mixer and you are much better off. So let's whip up our frosting here, probably for about 20 to 30 seconds. Okay, so our frosting looks great. I whipped it up here for about 30 seconds. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this in a piping bag. So you can also use the back of a spoon and just spread it on top. That's okay too, and it'll be just as wonderful. So let's frost our cupcakes. Okay, so I placed my frosting in a piping bag here with tip number 8B, Wilton tip number 8B. And most definitely, as I said, it is optional. And another thing, if you are using crunchy peanut butter in your frosting, you want to make sure that your tip is large enough like this so that your little chunks of peanut will not get stuck. Okay, so I have completely frosted my cupcakes and now we are definitely ready to try them. I'm gonna try this one here. They are simply perfect, so moist. The frosting complements the cupcake so well and it is just amazing. I, I don't know what else to say about them because they are so great, so wonderful and most definitely a treat and you can make them for any occasion. They are just perfect. So that's about it. So simple to make and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give us a nice big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so you will be notified every time I upload a new and delicious recipe. Share the recipe with your family and friends and I'll see you in my next video. Take care, bye everyone.